Hello, we're back. In episode 47, I said we'd be talking about the Invader port to the NES, otherwise known as the Nintendo Entertainment System, or Famicom, in Japan. In C, using the CC6560502C 6502 compiler, and Notepad++ for editing. Let's take a look at our code in Notepad++. I used YYCHR to create my sprites. If you go to this second page here, you can see my sprites up here. These are larger than 8x8, so sometimes I had to put a couple of sprites together in order to pull off these. Let's take a look at the game now in the emulator. I'm using some sounds that I stole from an example game. If you want to try your hand at some NES development and don't want to learn 6502 assembly language, then this is a great way to get started and Doug's tutorials have everything you need to make the process as painless as possible. So after running the compile bat, if we look in our build folder, we have a .nes file that we can then drag to our emulator in order to play. Okay, let's take a look at it running on actual hardware. We're using a crazy I.O. cart, and you can see I have a little SD card in here with my file on it, and we're going to go ahead and plug it in and turn it on. And we'll go ahead and select our file. And there it is, running on an actual NES. So, next episode, I will be showing a port of Invader to the Sega Genesis, otherwise known as the Mega Drive in Europe and Japan, programmed in C using the SGDK SDK by Stephen DeLongville and Visual Studio Code for editing. That about wraps up episode 48 of my journey in game programming. Please like and subscribe and leave any comments or suggestions you may have that could make these a better experience. Until then, bye. I'll talk to you next time.